This is the Weather Extreme video for Thursday morning, the 8th of November. I'm James Spann, and we're almost there. Storm Alert Extreme, the once-a-year training. And yeah, 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 if you watch these videos, I know you've been to a Weather Service Skywarn school or you've been to one of ours before, but you know the deal. You need to come every year. You learn something every year. We learn something every year. And uh, I'm excited about this year's dual polarization radar session by Kevin Laws of the National Weather Service. Uh, we'll start at the BJCC at 9 o'clock. You don't need to register. It's free. You just show up. If you got kids that love weather, bring them. So we'll see you for uh, Storm Alert Extreme Saturday morning starting at 9. And once we are done, you get to go to the Alabama International Auto Show absolutely free. Check some of the sky cam shots around the network this morning. Yeah, man, it's foggy in spots. Not everywhere, but it's very thick in spots. That's our trustful sky cam. Visibility very restricted there. There's a look at downtown Haleyville up in Winston County, as seen from our sky cam there. And uh, no fog at that spot, but it's cold. It's below freezing up there. And no fog in Clanton. That's our sky cam down in uh, Chilton County. Big old upper trough over the east. Again, that big nor'easter is uh, still producing snow and wind up there in the northeast United States. It snowed in New York City. I think Central Park had six inches. Parts of Connecticut had one foot. That's a big snow for uh, early November. And it's cold this morning. Look at that. Uh, 31 at Haleyville. 32 for the Shoals, Decatur, Fort Payne, Gadsden. These are all at the 5 o'clock, mostly mid-30s down this way. But we'll warm up to near 60 today. And around the nation, again, I'd say it's seasonal. Although the coldest air is over the uh, east and then up in the uh, northwest, up in parts of Montana, where they are getting ready for a blizzard. Look at that blizzard warning. All the counties in orange up there over Montana and surrounding that, a lot of winter storm warnings and watches. Down this way earlier this morning, we had a dense fog advisory and a frost advisory. That's the uh, counties here in the uh, Birmingham County warning area. And again, up in the northeast, that big mess continues with the snow and wind on the far upper Atlantic coast. All right, this is the severe weather outlook for day three. This is Saturday. There's a slight risk over the middle of the nation, parts of Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, the northwestern tip of Missouri, with this big dynamic system coming out of the west. Beyond that, they do not have any formal risk for Sunday or Monday, but there's no doubt we could see some strong storms here by Monday. There's rain for the next five days. Bigger numbers off to the northwest. This is valid through uh, Monday evening of next week at 6 o'clock. We think the heavier rains will be just after this period, Monday night, as you'll see. In fact, let's look at modeling. This is the uh, GFS, the Global Forecast System, the 06Z run, valid at uh, 12 noon today. we still got the big trough in the east and down below that. Should be a very nice day. Again, after this uh, cold, frosty start, we'll warm up nicely today. Most spots will see a high right around 60 tomorrow. Pretty much the same deal. We start the day in the 30s. We wind up with a high in the upper 60s. And there's Saturday as we start the weekend. Big trough in the west. But ridging here should be a gorgeous day. Sunny with a high at or just over 70. Both models, the NAM and the GFS, are at 71. And again, you can see... Uh, now that <coughs> Lee Low is developing on, on the plains of Colorado, and that might set up some strong storms uh, later in the day, Saturday or Saturday night out there across the heartland. And there's Sunday. be kind of a breezy day, mild with uh, low 70s likely. Thunderstorms erupt from near Wichita Falls, Texas, up to near Madison, Wisconsin. And there's Monday. And you can see it's a pretty dynamic trough coming in here. In advance of that, there should be a band of showers and storms. This is midday Monday through the Mid-South, Memphis, uh, Vicksburg, uh, and up to uh, near Detroit and Grand Rapids. We'll go to Monday night at midnight. The batch of storms is coming through here. And again, it looks like a linear event, a line of storms that will have gusty winds, maybe strong or damaging in a few spots. We'll keep an eye on the severe potential. Uh, this would suggest the main window for the storms about 6 o'clock Monday evening until maybe 3, 4, 5 o'clock Tuesday morning. Then by midday Tuesday, it's all gone, and we turn cooler as uh, we drop into the low and mid-50s with a chilly north wind. Uh, Wednesday of next week, I would imagine we'll start the day with a freeze, high in the upper 50s, and a week from today, warm up to uh, maybe the low 60s, and the sky will be mostly sunny. Go out there and check a few more little events coming up uh, Later, this is the uh, 
15th of November. Pretty decent little trough. And again, that looks uh, kind of wet and stormy. And on the 20th, another trough and another round of storms. So mid-month looks pretty active with frequent rain-producing systems. And we'll have to monitor all of those for any sign of severe weather potential, of course. This is the end of the forecast on the 23rd. And you know what this is? This is Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. That shows a, a big trough east of here. And if that's right, the weather would be cool and dry. But we all know that's out there in the land of voodoo, and that could change. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 in Birmingham this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Does your weatherman have a face for radio? ABC 3340's James Spann may be hair challenged, but he sure is entertaining, especially when he teams up with everyone's favorite radio duo, Rick and Bubba. From the radio airwaves to the small screen, it's the Rick and Bubba TV show five days a week. Watch Rick and Bubba along with ABC 3340 Chief Meteorologist James Spann, Monday through Friday from 6 to 10 a.m. on the Nashville Network, provided by ABC 3340.